You can use 3D rotation, 3D format and shadow options to create cool looking visuals with multiple images. Such as this which is similar to the image I've used at the start of each of my course modules. To recreate this look we could take a number of images that I've already sized, such as these. We'll click on the image, right click and choose format picture. Then go into the 3D rotation option and choose isometric top up. Then we can add a shadow, which I'll just take a preset, the first one in this case. Change a couple of parameters to how I like it, which is 75% transparency, 10 point blur and zero distance. And then I'm going to go back to the 3D rotation. Where it says distance from ground, I'm just going to put five. And you can see that lifts it off and gives it a good depth. Now we can apply this to the other images and we can do this in a couple of ways. If you click on the one we've already applied the 3D effect to and you click Format Painter, you can then click to apply it to another one. Or of course you can double click the Format Painter and go around each one of them. But if we just undo that with Control Z, there is a quicker way. We can click on this and press Control Shift C. Then we can lasso over every single one and press Control Shift V. Excellent. There is one other way that we could have used, and I'm just going to undo that to show you. We could select all the ones we want to apply it to, group them with Control G. Click on the format we want, click on the Format Painter, and then apply it to the group. And all of these ways work, but by grouping and ungrouping, sometimes you can remove parameters that you want, such as animation. There are a number of other options you can apply in the 3D Format section, which includes beveling, depth, contour materials, and lighting. For example, we could go in here and type 15 depth, and that would give us a solid piece like a cuboid. And that can look quite good, especially on images like this, which have solid colors around the edge of the image. And again, you could click Format Painter and apply these. And so for example, if we went in here and chose the first bevel, which is round, you can see that puts quite a lot on it, which might be an effect you're going for. If I just make it a little bit more subtle to make it look a bit nicer here, that's quite a nice effect. And then we could apply that to any of them. And then move them apart from each other slightly because they're now a bit bigger. So the 3D section can be a very powerful tool if used in the correct way.